The National Hockey League is changing its plans for a diversity jobs fair after Governor Ron DeSantis called them out for being discriminatory. But it was only open to certain people, these people, those identifying as female, black, Asian, or Pacific Islander. The governor expressed his outrage through his spokesman, saying discrimination of any sort is not welcome in the state of Florida, and we do not abide by the woke notion that discrimination should be overlooked if applied in a politically popular manner or against a politically unpopular demographic. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, a wise man once said. And those are wise words. If you play hockey, if you play in the NHL, you know that getting body checked can be very, very painful. But that happened, metaphorically, and actually quite physically, to the NHL recently, as of this week, when Ron DeSantis uh, body checked them for being woke directly into a hard wall, breaking a couple ribs and causing them to delete tweets, backtrack, and apologize to Ron DeSantis. You don't get to cover a lot of good news here, so I guess might as well cover it when we chalk one up for the good guys, right? NHL backtracks after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis office blast league for discriminatory job fair. Let's just call it what it is, a racist job fair. You already know the story here, right? The NHL backtracked late on Friday after an event and, and said an event was open to all the individuals ages 18 and, and over, you know what's about to happen. The NHL was going to host a job fair in uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where the 2023 All-Star festivities will be in Florida, called the Pathway to Hockey Summit. Whenever you hear the word pathway or equity, you know what that means. It means discrimination against uh, the perceived out group, which right now happens to be white Americans. And that's exactly what the NHL did. The National Hockey League uh, hosted a discriminatory job fair that only allowed certain groups of people to attend. The league has then backtracked after Ron DeSantis body checked them. According to a now deleted post by the NHL promoting the event on LinkedIn, the event was only open to certain groups. Participants must be 18 years old or older, based in the United States, identify as female, black, Asian, Pacific Islander, Hispanic, Latino, indigenous, LGBTQ plus 2IA, plus all the emojis, except for the white emojis, or a person with disability. Veterans also welcome to attend, but no white people. <laughs> this is everyone but white Americans are allowed into this NHL event. In a statement, Brian Griffin, Secretary of Ron Santa, said the event is discriminatory. Discriminatory uh, Discrimination of any sort is not welcome in the state of Florida. We do not abide by the woke notion uh, that discrimination should be overlooked if it applies to politically pop in a politically popular manner or against politically unpopular demographic. We are fighting all discrimination in our schools and our workplaces, and we will fight it publicly at uh, places or meeting or activity. It's actually, of course, illegal to do this. You're not allowed to discriminate. There is a Civil Rights Act that was passed in this country in 1964, some 70 years ago, nearly, and um, you're not allowed to discriminate based on race. So, of course, the NHL should be, actually be sued for this. Griffin also said the NHL immediately needs to remove and denounce the discriminatory prohibitions that is imposed on attendance to the 2023 Pathway to Hockey Summit. Uh, ironic, because the NHL probably has like 80 to 90 percent white players, right? I, I go to some NHL games here. Tampa Bay Lightning's here in, in Tampa. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I don't not go to football games because it's 80% black players or, or NBA game. Actually, I don't go to NBA games. That 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 is a fact. Um, but that's for very, very different reasons. The NBA hates you and America. In a statement, Fox News Digital, the NHL said the original wording of the LinkedIn post uh, was not accurate. Pathway to Hockey Summit is an informational and networking event designed to encourage individuals to consider a career in our game. Yeah, right. They got caught. The NHL deleted the event posting. Uh, the, in further clarification, the spokesperson said the event is open to anyone 18 or older. So why didn't you just say that in the first place? Ron DeSantis continues to win in the state of Florida. Federal Judge Hans DeSantis' administration win over the Stop Woke Act. Court finds that there has been no violation uh, of the injunction at this time. This is an act to stop critical race theory, essentially the theory that posited uh, the NHL needs to discriminate against people uh, who wish to come to its job fair in higher education. Uh, uh, the plaintiffs had challenged that the law known as the Stop Woke Act uh, 
uh, uh, stands for Stop Wrongs to Our Kids and Employees. Very nice. Arguing that the DeSantis administration failed to comply with preliminary injunction, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Stop Woke Act essentially stops you from teaching institutional racism inside of the state of Florida, something that Ron DeSantis is very much in favor of uh, and speaks about it a lot. Like, he spoke about it this morning. This is what it sounded like. But I'll tell you, uh, being the free state of Florida did not happen by accident because it required us over these last few years to stand against major institutions in our society, the bureaucracy, the medical establishment, legacy media, and even the President of the United States. who together were working to impose a biomedical security state on society. They sought to marginalize people who declined COVID jabs by using things like vaccine passports. They sought to prevent people from being able to earn a living if they declined the jab through the Biden employer mandate. They sought to deny children an education if their parents did not want their kids to get MNRA shots. They sought to discriminate against Americans based on VAC status by treating them different in their own workplaces. They sought to impose masking requirements on everyone from spectators at sporting events to young school children. And they sought to silence medical practitioners who followed the evidence and backed the science over the narrative. And the fact of the matter is, they had a lot of momentum. They brought a lot of power to these fights. And they would have won, except for the fact Florida said no. Florida saying no to a lot of woke garbage is sort of the calling card of the uh, DeSantis administration. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs bill revoking Disney's special district status. Of course, this is because Disney decided to push woke ideology on children and uh, become predatory towards children, siding with the predators of children. Bad move for people who are supposed to attract young families and little kids to their park. Uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Friday signed a law revoking Walt Disney Company's special district status in the state. Disney had, up to this point, declined to comment on the legislation. Uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, sunsetting the Rocky Creek Improvement district means local counties will likely be left to foot the bill for potholes, emergency services, LOL. Yeah, right. Oh, really? Everyone's so worried about that. This is going to cost Disney billions. Have you checked Disney's stock price recently? So Ron DeSantis talking about presidents there in that clip. Would Ron DeSantis want to be president? Well, uh, recent polling shows that Biden would defeat Trump in 24, but lose to Ron DeSantis. This is just one poll, but um, it's interesting. You know my thoughts on this. Uh, my thoughts on this is let them fight it out. And what would that fight look like? This is the 538 polls for DeSantis versus Trump. Trump winning here in the Mississippi, in a Mississippi poll versus DeSantis. DeSantis winning narrowly in a University of Massachusetts poll. Uh, Trump DeSantis tied in a University of Massachusetts poll. These are from this, uh, this week here. Biden and DeSantis tied uh, in a general election poll. DeSantis with a slight margin on Biden in a general election poll. Uh, Arizona polling. DeSantis beating Biden in an Arizona poll. Uh, here's Republican primary here. Trump beating DeSantis in the morning consult poll. Uh, Trump beating DeSantis handily. And Trump beating DeSantis handily here in, in these polls uh, conducted last week. So, again, which, you know, you want to cherry pick? Like, you know, show us, show us the polls. And then DeSantis beating uh, Mike Pence if there was a, per a proverbial matchup. Here, according to Big Village, DeSantis being Mike Pence uh, quite handily. So what, uh, you know, what's the takeaway here? Well, I mean, the takeaway here is that the fight is good, actually. Um, President Biden would easily beat former President Donald Trump in a hypothetical 2024 matchup, but would lose to Ron DeSantis, according to a recent poll. Uh, oh, which which poll is this? Uh, this is a w -A WPA intelligence survey released on January 13th. Trump announced on November 15th that he would mount a third consecutive run for the White House. DeSantis, fresh off a landslide victory in November, has not said whether he will enter the race. So, uh, I mean, these are just big cultural wins. That's all. 
and he's just big cultural wins. I haven't endorsed anyone. I'm a proud resident of the state of Florida. You guys know that. But I'm, you know, also uh, very pragmatic as it comes to the value that Donald Trump has for the Republican Party and the good things that Donald Trump did as president and the good thing that Ron DeSantis is, is currently doing and the current good things that Donald Trump's doing. And I want to call balls and strikes and I want to chop wood here and I want to be honest with you. And so being honest with you really means this, like it's good to have cultural warriors and cultural battles. I'm very glad to be part of a party that includes Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. And also they must fight. If they have to fight, they have to fight. It's like Kaiju, let them fight. It's good for the party. The old lion wanders the jungle and the young lion challenges him and they fight. And the old lion or the young lion wins and the strongest one wins. And that makes for a better life for the rest of the pride. More eating, more hunting, more killing. The strongest lion in charge. Isn't that what you want? So that's what I say here on this show. I, I d cannot see myself endorsing in this race. I, do, I will not endorse. Uh, and I, I won't pull for one or the other. I'm going to, again, call it as we see it because I actually believe in one person. I have endorsed one person, and that is the Republican primary and caucus goers. And so the Republican grassroots will decide whether they want Donald Trump, whether they want Ron DeSantis, and the two of them will fight, and the people will be convinced, they'll vote, and we'll have our champion. And that's exactly what we want, actually. We want a gladiator match, and you want your gladiator to be battle-scarred and hardened and ready to go. That's exactly what happened to Donald Trump in 2016, and look what happened. He beat Hillary Clinton. So take that to the bank. That's what you should be uh, cheering for here. And the body checks uh, to the NFL, NHL by Ron DeSantis are a good thing. We want a fighter. You want a fighter. You want a cultural warrior. So keep fighting, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll keep fighting right along with you. My name is Benny. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ron DeSantis, 2024. Donald Trump, 2024. Are you also undecided? I am. I want to read them in the comments. Let me know. Till next time, keep fighting. It's your boy, Benny. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Face Patriots.